test, test. Cool. This is actually the first time my microphone has been used in like a week. Like it's been unplugged, not used. I haven't been in Discord or anything, uh, which is strange, but yeah. <laughs> it's kind of weird using the mic again. Hey everybody, I finally decided to make a video, uh, and I'm not actually playing a game or anything, because I'm too lazy to do anything exciting like that, or produce any good content, so uh, we are doing a tier list again, because Doctor is different now, and also Oni is a little bit better, so I'm just going to rework the whole tier list, because I feel like the more times I do this, the more close I'll get to a genuine tier list, so we'll get started. Uh, first up is Nurse. Nurse is obviously very good. Uh, we'll just put our polar opposites down. Nurse and Bubba. And that's it for those tiers. Um, next, Spirit, in my opinion. She's very good. Uh, phase walking, you can't see her at all. Uh, survivors really have no way of countering her because she can hear you and just go right to you. Uh, quick and quiet, somewhat nerfs her, iron will nerfs her, but she's still pretty strong if you gotta get headphones. A good headphones, that's grammar for you. Next, I'm gonna put Billy. Billy has insane map control, that's his biggest strength, he has the best map control in the game. Uh, and his one shot is also good. Uh, you just gotta kind of play around pallets, and enduring is actually really important on him, just to get the pallets done because that's his biggest weakness, is dealing with pallets, but once they're gone, Billy has full control. Unless there's like some infinite on the map. Uh, next I'm gonna throw Freddy up there. He was a little bit lower last time, but I'm moving him up, him up because uh, I think Freddy's pretty good, and he has a very wide range of... Right now he's actually bugged and his snares don't work, so I haven't played him in a while, but Freddy's my main. He's amazing, and I love him. Next, I'm going to have Hag. Hag's good because he can play around pallets really well. And also play around the hook really well and kind of engage a snowball at will. That's what I said before. Uh, the only thing is she has a very slow movement speed and flashlights destroy her. Next, I'm going to have Huntress. <clears throat> My voice is like really shredded right now. Actually, no. I'm gonna put Oni first because he's his flicks back, so he's pretty good. Oni was always a really fun killer until they nerfed him to the ground, so that you couldn't actually have a lot of fun with him when using his power. Now that the flick is kind of back, he's a lot of fun, and I moved him up because of that. Uh, Huntress is a little bit lower just because she's a very slow killer, and she got really hurt by the ruin nerf. And there's a lot of perks that don't really work for Huntress in terms of slowing the map down because uh, of her slow movement speed. Uh, so she really got hurt by that, but she's still very good with her ranged attack. Uh, and the, the skill cap is as high as it ever was with Huntress, and she's still really strong. Next, I'm going to throw Ghostface up there. Um, Ghostface is good mainly because you can kind of play him however you want and still kind of win, because his power is so unique. Uh, so I, I I get what people are ghost face. You can kind of just kind of have fun with a little bit. He shouldn't be as good as he actually is when you think about it, but he's good. I'm actually gonna bump Trapper down bef them before. I'm gonna throw Doctor right after Ghostface. I think Static Blast is a really good change uh, in opposition to the treatment th field because it, it, you really couldn't do anything uh, as a player or interact with the treatment field so you can kind of he has a way better tracking with static blast even though it's on cooldown a lot of the time uh it's not the biggest cooldown ever so you can kind of use it a lot which is great and when they put him on the live server they actually uh either removed the cooldown after using the shock therapy or made it very unnoticeable uh, because you can kind of shock as much as you want and still not get hindered by uh being on a cooldown to use your weapon for like three seconds which was kind of bad on the ptb I think the Doctor's really good. Really good change. Um, and there's still certain things about that update that got me a little bit concerned, like uh, how the devs are basically favoring survivors, but I think this was kind of like a happy accident that we got with Doctor. And uh, he's actually really good. Or, you know, not really good, but he'd be tier, so. Good for him. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna throw up Myers. Um, Myers is kind of the same thing as before, where he's very dependent on perks, but... Uh, his ability is so very 
devastating. Uh, and you can kind of act, you can activate it about five times a match. And each time it's going to be a free down, uh, potentially three free downs, which is three free hooks. Uh, so you you could get a fourth of the match done uh, just from one you know, tier three, which is insane. And you can kind of snowball and then work your way to a slug, which is an even faster win with Myers. So it's all about getting that slug started, which is why he's so dependent on perks, but it is really good. Um, and then next, I'll, I'll throw up Trapper finally. Uh, he's still the same as before where, you know, you kind of... Survivors have to loop, so if you just trap loops, you'll get free downs a lot. Uh, I've, I've been playing Trapper recently, so he, he is very... One thing, he's very, very map dependent. Two, he can be destroyed if he has a terrible setup, which is kind of really bad considering Ruin is the way it is now. Uh, Crept Intervention is still perfect on him, but it, it's a little bit of a bother when you don't have Ruin anymore. So, And also, um, uh, it's kind of hard to... I mean, it's, you do have to know what you're doing when you're playing Trapper. It's not like a skill thing, but it's kind of like a n normal knowledge of the game and of Trapper to know what you're doing. So, I don't know, it's kind of instinct when you're playing Trapper. You kind of improv and see what happens, what the survivors are doing, and kind of work around that. So, you can get destroyed by Trapper, and you can also destroy his Trapper. Uh, it's a, it's a really mixed bag with Trapper, which is why I'm putting him a little bit toward the middle. But he's still good. Next, 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 next. Oh yeah, Demigorgon. Um, not too good with Demigorgon. I don't particularly like Shred, uh, and his portals. But it, you kind of have to... It's not really as much setup as you would think uh, with portals, but it kind of goes with the flow of gameplay, and if you don't get into that flow, you'll get destroyed, uh, which is basically the story with every killer. You've got to get the, the cycle going uh, in order to uh, actually have like a good game, because if you're chasing someone for a while, and then you just lose all your momentum and pressure, so uh, it's, it's more truthful than ever with Demogorgon. Because you have to hook and plant, por plant portals and travel the map. And then uh, you use your shred and knock down servers quickly, which can be a bit of a hassle. Uh, it's one of the reasons I'm not so good with him. So I do understand what's good with him, but I don't think he's amazing. Uh, Alright, five killers left. How are we going to sort these guys? Uh, I'll do plague, pig, wraith. Clown, Legion. I moved Wraith up a little bit. Uh, his stealth is... <sighs> He's very hit or miss, if that makes sense. Um, not to bring up the TikTok again. That is dead. But uh, the thing with him is the stealth either works or hinders you, depending on how much line of sight you have. I would say he's very map dependent, but it's all about your pathing. Which is something I struggle with with Wraith a lot, is I don't take the right pathing when I'm using stealth, so it's hard to sneak up on people. So, I, I, yeah, I guess he is kind of map dependent. Um, in that regard, I feel like he is really dependent on add-ons and perks. Like, more than any other killer, I think. Um, m maybe Billy. I don't know, I don't see... I mean, I... Yeah, I don't know. And um, Clown just kind of doesn't really do anything. His four bottles, they go really quickly. They don't really help that much. Uh, they can be easily outplayed by just throwing the pallet. He, you just kind of have to eat pallets, which is a bit of a, a bit of a worry because if you eat too many pallets, gens will go. So it's all about choosing when to break pallets, when to chase, and which is not something you want to do with a killer who is basically just like, 115 stabbing killer that kind of chases and wins the, like that you have to kind of avoid chases and work the pallets down very systematically which is kind of cringe next legion uh i don't i don't have too much of a hate toward legion um at least not as strongly as before i kind of like playing him i like his look and the cosmetics 
I think is some of the best cosmetics in the game for killers. Um, regardless, he just kind of... He makes more sense to me than he did before. I There's a big gap, I think, between these two. Not the biggest gap ever. But Bubba doesn't really have a lot going for him. Whereas Legion, he has a few things going for him. He's very good at injuring. He has light map, map traveling mobility, slightly. Um... And his 115 movement speed is actually really strong. Um, he doesn't have as much as all these killers, obviously, which is why he's second worst. Um, but, yeah. I don't know. I think he's kind of meh. He's not as bad as everyone says. He's just kind of meh. He doesn't really have anything. I, I still like playing him sometimes. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not like PU Legion, if that makes sense. Anyway, that was the list. I didn't talk about Plague or Pig. Um, I will not because I'm tired, so I'm gonna go play Minecraft. Bye, guys.